Aren't these beautiful? And you have, is it the same person who does all the covers for you, all the cover art? Uh, no, we use different freelance artists. They are beautiful. Including one in the audience, Rick Morris. Oh, hey, Rick. Hello. Stand up, Rick. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Rick, for coming down. But these are beautiful, and they really, you know, they're just, they just jump right out at you. So, Chris, tell me, now, what got you involved so with, I mean, at such a young age with, was it film that, is that what you want to make? Well, I, I think or? I think I decided I could either spend my tuition money on a magazine, or I could spend it making movies, and uh, I decided to do a magazine first, and now I'm making some films. You are actually so, making films. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, your magazine, you deal with a lot of alternative and underground views. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is this a reaction to the industry? Something that you felt you were disillusioned by that you wanted to? Well, I think it, I begin? think it's because no other magazine covers these kinds of movies, and so we like to cover them in a humorous light. And it, uh, I think it comes out pretty good. We cover all kinds of people and different things that no one else would touch with a ten-foot pole. Really? No. Now, what kind of films would those be? Oh, Do you the have films favorites? of Nick Zed, uh, weird ones, uh, Kenneth Anger. Oh, uh, I, Kenneth and I go way back. John Waters, of course. Oh, you do? You know Kenneth? Oh, yeah, he lives in, in the Hollywood area once in a while. We do visit. Oh, he wrote Hollywood, Hollywood Babylon. Yeah, that's great. I, I, are now, aren't you going to be in Hollywood Babylon 3, or is that, are we not supposed to talk about that? Well, we'll see what happens, you know. <laughs> it depends on how juicy the other gossip, you know, bits get. Well, I hope the rumors aren't true, so. <laughs> they are, well. I'm not going to blow it. You can read the book when that happens. Great. So, um, well, how would you rate such films? I mean, I'm trying to get an idea of, of where your, uh, what your magazine actually covers. Now, how would you rate films such as like The Sandpiper or Love Story or X, Y, and Z, for instance? A love Story was good. I liked it. The Girl Died at the End. I thought that was good. I, I like that one. But, you know, we like to cover mainstream movies as well, but not in the same kind of way that, that normal magazines like, say, Premiere or American Film covers them. Like, say, if we're going to review the latest Freddy Krueger film, we might get a real child killer to review the movie. Or, or oh, really? uh, you know, we might, rather than do an actual article on the summer movies, we might get a psychic to review the movies before they come out. So, you so know, we like to... with real controversial angles here. We like to take a different approach, not your normal write about it, you know, whiny critic wishing he was making films. You know, a lot of people who, who write for Film Thread are actual filmmakers, and we like to have a sort of different... So keep it in the family kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Now, you, um, you do calendars along with the magazine and all sorts of different things like bumper stickers. And mm -hmm. you um, also are offering a little giveaway here on Decoupage, is that right? Sure, yeah. The, the first 17 people who write and send in say that they saw this show, I'll send a free latest issue of Film Threat. And a calendar, what the heck? What do you think about that? Woo! Well, that sounds great. Free, free is my favorite price, and it should be yours too. So, Keep it's always mind. been mine. Now, tell me about the baby boomers. You have an opinion there, a little philosophical view. Oh, the baby boomers. When are they gonna die? Uh, you know, our our generation, like eighteen to twenty nine, has been labeled the baby busters. I don't know. That's a label. It's mm -hmm. kind of dull, but. The baby boomers. I can't are, tell you what my generation's been labeled. <laughs> but uh, not but, on, even on public access. <laughs> well, I just think that it, it's annoying that everything you see from credit card commercials to you know everything selling soda pop is just the constant '60s. Oh, remember how great they were? Oh, I'm so tired of. I could care less about Vietnam. You know. Not like well, I don't care. I, you know, I'm just being honest. I don't care. You know, I'd well, like to see you know, some new ideas come well, out. That, I mean, it's understandable coming from your generation, but some of us right. li not knowing when our boys were coming home was very <laughs> a, quite a big deal. Well, mm -hmm. a lot what of young ones in the audience snickering, but well, that's understandable. I mean, I don't. I just would like that. to create a new voice with the magazine and with the films as well.